are up. We are. See you girl, the spit of type. Okay, Every girl's okay, boyfriend. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, he so just he, had that good of Yeah, but yeah, Trey, he really, yeah. yeah. 
man. So, damn, a lot of the people you name, when I think about it, had deals at that time. Did, did they just skip over y'all, or what happened with that situation? Because I know y'all had a little beef with another clique, too, at the time. Like, Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. I mean, shit, that whole situation, fool, like, honest, honestly, it was like, I can say... I can't repeat the question because you know that, that fucking oh, yeah. 12 just, just threw me out. Damn, you saying? Yeah, oh, that's what it had threw me out. So, say what you said. I know, I was just saying, like, a lot of them artists you name, a lot of them got deals around that time. You know what I'm saying? Okay, gotcha. Okay, to answer that question, see, we had a deal, bro. Like, and, and I don't know, I don't know if, uh, I, I remember you saying that you was going to interview, you know, my manager back in the day. You know, I don't know if you asked this question, but even back then, we had a deal with, like, Koch. I don't know if yeah, you yeah, knew yeah. Koch Records when we had a deal with Koch. Now. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But it was like a, a single deal. You know, it was for do the book, whatever. We had a deal. And I feel like it was one of them situations where the deal was to shelf a nigga. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, it, was, yeah, yeah. it was just a single deal or whatever. But, I mean, at that time, it, it was just a lot of... I didn't know what was going on. I was I was young as shit. You know me, man. My, my job was just to make music and fuck yeah. bitches. Yeah, 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 that's, yeah, all yeah. I, that's all I cared about back then. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. now, the, the business that I know now, I understand the shit. You know what I'm saying? So I wasn't really tied into what I was, what was going on or whatnot. Yeah. Uh, but to answer the question, like, with the, the, the situation with the GS boys, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, you know, everybody yeah, know yeah. The, the dance, all that, all that. Yeah. It was the background dancers. Yeah. There's a lot of shit how that shit strike back then. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, nigga don't even really care about that. Niggas, yeah. you know, back at home, back doing, you know, yeah, it yeah. is what it is. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know what yeah. I mean? I ain't knocking nobody. Yeah, they tried you know to I mean? say they uh, made the beat, you know what I'm saying? I remember. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure you asked Ron that yeah, shit, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, There's another situation on that, you know what I'm saying? Y'all go ahead and watch. Hey, y'all go tune into, you know, Ron interview to see <laughs> what really happened, right? Because yeah, I don't even feel like niggas ain't going to get no type of cut on that Exactly. Shit. Nah, but what I was gonna say too is, uh, so now y'all didn't have a deal, but y'all still got the Boosie. How did how did that come about? Like, man, how bro. did y'all get the Boosie without a deal? Bro, what's crazy thing is, bro, like I never forget this shit, bro. Yeah. Like Boosie, you know, I'm I'm normally from Baton Rouge, you know what I'm saying? That's where I was born, you know what I'm saying? Well, of course, I was raised in Fort Worth, Fort Worth, yeah. Texas, and Arlington. That's where I was mostly raised at, and you know I'm still in the DFW or whatever. But uh, Boosie, I was a big fan of him, man, and. Uh, he, he was out, he was just in town, he had a concert, man, and it was just a situation, like, hey, we got Boosie, shit. Yeah. what's up? She tell a nigga to come, shit, we got the, we got the bread for him, what's up? The nigga came to the crib, bro, like, I remember, like, yes, he came to the house, nigga. Yeah. Nigga walked in, you know what I'm saying, like, what's this up? Way, this way, this is it's like, set it out, Boosie, like, hot, hot. This is hot, Boosie, it's like, bro. Like, just super hot. Boosie, skinny Boosie, yeah. you know, he was hot. Gangsta Girl, Boosie. The ball, known for the ball fade, Boosie, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. They came to the crib, man, and he laid, they played, though, he saw this whole fire. He laid that bitch in about like 10 minutes. Damn. Yeah, he didn't write that out or he freestyled? Uh, he freestyled that bitch. Damn. He laid the hell right at the crib. We also had a uh, Webby verse too. Yeah. We, we, we had a Webby verse at first, but. I heard Ron say Webby was on the album. Yeah. I was like, I never heard that. Webby was on that. I mean, but he was. But did he get put out? He was. I mean, yes, yeah, out. Oh, I mean, for real? But yeah. I, I mean, don't you, remember. Can, you, can, you can YouTube it. It's, okay. it's, it's, a, it's a Webby version out there. Oh, okay. But he was more on some. Uh, you could tell he didn't really give a fuck about it. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Damn, he didn't give a fuck about it like that. You know, he just hopped on that hoe, whatever. Some, you know, it was a favor, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, okay, RP my nigga Wody. Wody had all the connects, man. He was connecting yeah. dots, man. So that's why I said being on the like the other end of the uh, I ain't even smoking. Yeah. Like yeah. being being on the other end of the stick now, like really being behind the scenes, doing management and fucking with artists. It's like I'm in that position now to, to tie those ends to make shit happen. So that's basically what Wody was doing. Yeah. Wody was like really connecting the dots. He the reason why Boosie got on the song. He the reason why uh, Wavy got on the song. We also had a Charlie Boy verse too. Charlie Boy hopped on, on that same song. Yeah, Damn, on, on the verse. but he did it himself. You know what I'm saying? That's when he was doing his mixtapes. Oh and, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah. he hopped on the boot. You know what I'm saying? That shit really. Shit, the song was big, bro. It was a, it was a big movement. Um, I mean, we didn't really get a lot of respect in the city. Uh, of course, because we from Arlington, everybody you know put us like from Arlington and all that or whatever. So yeah, that, that's when it was that Arlington Dallas situation. They really wasn't you know fucking yeah, embracing with it. Yeah. yeah, but you had people really blowing up. Can't forget Beham. Yeah, Beham. Technique yeah. was yeah, pretty tech, high. Technique. Yeah, you know. So, but that's you know we weren't really getting a lot of radio radio you know push like that. What do you, you know? feel like you could take from that situation that you learned going through that? And apply now, like as being behind the scenes, as being in management. 
I mean, everything has an expiration date. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Everything. Like a lot of times, I see all these young artists coming out now, and you know, I look, you know, I, I look at like where I was at. I had like I had like real fans. You know what I'm saying? I'm not yeah. like now. You don't know who really fans and who's not. Just because somebody follow you or view your shit, don't mean they your fan. You yeah. know what I'm saying? In my era, you know what I'm saying? We used to hop on stage. We'll say, Hey, put your cell phones up. Everybody in that motherfucker put their cell phone up, put our numbers in, you know what I'm saying? Nah, and they, they, we had a hotline, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> real shit. We yeah. had real solid fans, you know what I'm saying? Like, you, we, you book T-Real, T-Real bring in 500 people. Like, we be packing a team to Vince out. Like, we yeah. be doing that. Like, now I'm, I'm seeing artists get booked and nobody's showing up. But they really? got all these views and all followers and all that shit. So yeah. now you just don't know what's real and what's not. You know what I'm saying? Man, but, that's real talk. And, but uh, besides that, I tell like the young artists that's coming up, you know, enjoy it while you can, man, because like, I mean, she look at me, hey, I mean, I was hot as shit, you feel me? I mean, I was, I mean, I couldn't even, I had to really leave Sam Houston to go to Venture to finish early because of, it was crazy, you know what I'm saying? You really it's, think about it too, though, not to cut you off, but you kind of had really a run, like, versus a lot of one-hit wonders or a lot of cats that's hot. You had you had do the boot essential needs, uh, shit, goddamn. You had mixtapes that was hot, dirty booty. You know yeah, what I'm saying? I was fucking yeah, like with good, Twist heavy too, little Twist. Yeah, nigga, twist. twist got you another I'm still, way trading. Young, uh, young Nation. Nation sure. Yeah, like you had different okay, avenues. You had a good five year run and then reinvented yourself with the Mossberg shit. So I feel like it wasn't just a normal, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Career. Like you yeah. had. Yeah, but I, I, I just, yeah, it was, it was a good run. You know what I'm saying? It was a good run. But that's why I said everything has an expiration date. Yeah. I mean, whatever it is, you know, you're going to get to a point where you feel like you hit the ceiling. You know, I mean, I still record to this day. You know, I, I haven't put out music in forever. Like, yeah. forever. I mean, I still record. You know what I'm saying? I might yeah. ghost write a couple songs. I might be in the studio, help some people out. I still do it because it's still the love of it. You know what I'm saying? But it's just yeah. now understanding the business side of it. There's yeah. more money going out than coming in. You know, and, and back then it was so easy to touch so many, um, like, people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, if I, if, when I'm in school, like, it's easy for me to get the man. If we had Instagram in school, man, man that's I'm why telling you, if, I, if I had that, I would have surpri- I would have made it, made it. Like, for real, for real. Because if you just do one show at a pep rally or something, and, hey, everybody follow me on Instagram. Everybody follow you from the school. Yeah, you, just, you just conquered the whole school just that quick. You know what I'm saying? So it's just, it's just now time is like a nigga older now, so a nigga can't touch those many people like that as you could when you were a kid. Yeah. So that's why it's just like young young talent is always the best in my eyes. So that's why I feel like you know I had I had my run. You know I started at 16. I mean I, I say I get like finished, but it's not. My first was 19, 20. Yeah. It was a good run though. Yeah. And I, and I say so. The, what you tell? I guess the young young uh, artists coming up, the team artist that's high real quick the main advice you'll tell them is that shit it's gonna be over eventually everything got an expiration date man <laughs> cause you know you gonna get you gonna get tired of uh you know you're gonna get tired of him people gonna get tired of seeing seeing you around you know what i'm saying like yeah. you gotta you gotta get to the next level you gotta keep growing if they want to see growth yeah. you know they, they you gotta they, they gotta see growth because people don't give a fuck like i'm telling you it was, it was some hot people out here like Five, ten years ago, they, they don't even get mentioned no more. Yeah, that's a fact. You know what I'm saying? Like, they don't get mentioned no more. Like, these niggas still trying, they still making music, but no one, they don't get mentioned. They, they're not on these lists. They don't, they're, they're rather than. Because yeah. it's, it's out with the old and with the new. That's what it's always going to be. So that's why I say everything has an expiration date. Like, as long as you know that, get it while you can. Build solid fans. Build solid fans. Because even if you got a hundred solid fans, not a hundred thousand followers, a hundred fans. And shit, you drop a tape, ten dollars, you the bad. Yeah, yeah. Shit, you good. Keep feeding them, you know what I'm saying? But them fans still want to see you grow as well, so that's why I said it's still gonna get expiration. Yeah, 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 man, that's all real. <laughs> that's all real. <laughs> you know, so as long, long as you know that, bro, you good, man. And just enjoy, man, and, and have fun. You know. Shit. And what part do you think, like uh, the team worlds and stadiums like that, wow. like played in your career? I got to talk about you talking about the skating, nigga. Hey, now nah, look, real shit. The skating, the skating made and broke everybody. Bro. 
Like yeah. at that time, like Teflon was the the reason behind all that shit. I don't care what nobody say. Yeah. Teflon used to DJ the stadium, and I mean, we, a lot of the hot artists came out there. So if you used to get your shit played at the stadium, shit, you on. You know what yeah. I'm saying? That's that's how I blew up in the stadium. TNT world. That's yeah, how. Yeah, uh, yeah. Hey, Bezo, I mean, he was already blowing up in Dallas, but that shit, when they came to Arlington and shit, got a feel of that Arlington, because you can, now you got Fort Worth, you got Arlington, you got Grand Prairie, you got all of them now. So, shit, that nigga got a feel of that shit. He blew up out that bitch. Young Nation, everybody, that skating played a big part, bro. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? RP, my nigga, Wody, once again, Wody was behind that shit. Man, just tell him a little bit about Wody, man, because I have, in a couple of interviews I had, I, his name briefly come up, but just kind of tell people that, that that really don't know the history of like who he was and what he did and what part he played in the city. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy, man. Wody, man. Wody didn't want to fuck with me when he first met me. It was oh, crazy, yeah. though. I, got, I always got to throw this out there. So it was like, no, no story, but no song. Oh, yeah, like, yeah. Uh, like, when we was doing the boot, you know, he, you know, he wanted me. He like, man, that little nigga ain't ready, man. Who is this little nigga? Why you even on the song? You know yeah. what I'm saying? I love this nigga to this day, though, man. But, you know, I, my nigga James, of course, he, he fought for me, like, to, to really stay and get signed with Top 5, man. Of course, you remember Top 5 Entertainment was one of yeah. the uh, biggest, I guess, indie art, indie label in the DF Dub, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? You had, Is that biggest ever? To me, I don't, there's no other label. I mean, I mean, you got people doing their thing. Like, right now, like, Top Off, like, they, they doing their thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I like, I like how they orchestrating and they really doing it. You know what I'm saying? But we had some hitters on us, man. You had Teflon, T-Real, KB, Zola Run, uh, BMC, BMC Boys, Boys Four Way. Like, you had the hottest. You had all the music on one label. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So, and, of course, that was all orchestrated by Wody. Uh, you know, but besides that, Wody was the, the guy that threw everything from Chris Styles, 424, all the hot clubs back in the day. And the team club. Uh, and the team club. Home. So what he'll do is he'll bring an artist in. He'll funnel them through, you know what I'm saying? Boom, go to the uh, stadium, bring them to Team World. That's the that's in the daytime, you know. This, yeah. The club in at what twelve? What time is she in? Like 12? early. Yeah, probably at the latest. Yeah, 11, 12, some shit. Then so when they leave there, you got the club going. The club don't close to twelve, so you get you killing two birds with one stone. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So Wally was real connected as far as bringing all the uh, the big artists on, and then of course allowing uh, the artists in the city to perform and open up and shit. Like yeah. That. You know what I'm saying? But that was, that was, that was my manager too. He, he managed the whole, everything that we did. Man, so that, that, he had the cheat code, really. He really had the cheat code, bro. <laughs> well, you really think yeah, about Yeah, we, yeah, we had a cheat code, I guess you could yeah. say, man. But nigga had to grind and get to that position. You know yeah. what I'm saying? So like, when people say like, man, if I was with this person, this label, I would've did this. Yeah, you still but you gotta still, still gotta work, grind man. and get to that point to even, for them to even believe in you to do that, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I definitely remember Wally, uh, Mossberg stuff, still giving us shows out in Plano. Still looking out, You know out, what I'm saying? Bro. Still, still having little events and money, money here and there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, definitely a legend in the city. Yeah. And shit, what you think happened with us, like with the Mossberg, with the whole situation? You know what life. I'm saying? It was a big life. <laughs> life just got in the way. Life, like I said, that's what I'm saying. It's different. Like I mean, Raheem, Raheem can tell you to this day, man. Like. When I, when I recorded uh, Inevitable, yeah. you know what I'm saying? I, I was hungry, you know what I'm saying? I recorded that mixtape probably like two days. Like, I was recording myself. Like, that's all it was, was just music. Like, my management had everything, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, your job, T-Real, is to record music and stay active on MySpace. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? At that time, that's what it was. So, in our situation, we was uh, college. We was really growing up like we were now on our own so like we have our own cribs now we gotta pay bills we, yeah you know what i'm saying like so now that's taking the energy and focus off of the music yeah you know what i'm saying and, and that's what happened bro life yeah I'm telling you that's exactly what happened. and it's definitely a, uh was an all-star team i'm pretty sure there's plenty of the clicks but i i definitely want to say we was historic man but yeah it was crazy we was we had a nice little click and it even wasn't about the music and, yeah. and that was a lot about what our whole like my movement always been like that. i always tell people like that. i'm like like the best rapper or nothing like that yeah. i've never really been that was never my goal you know what i'm saying well, the reason why i did it can't really shit bro. <laughs> the reason why i even started rapping bro because i used to always freestyle and shit like my yeah. brother was all on that east coast shit whatever. yeah 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 i remember going to a bow wow concert for 
You remember that song with him and Amari on that? Let me hold you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bro, yeah. I went to that concert. It was like a summer jam, bro. These these bad. So many hours. Bro, girl behind me, bro. I'm I'm talking to her. You know, she fine, whatever. Woo. I'm winning with her. Soon as that nigga got on stage, fool, she didn't give a fuck about me. <laughs> she didn't care about me, bro. Man. And at that moment, I said, bro, I need to be like that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I always say, niggas, I don't give a damn what it is. If you between the ages, like, 32 and, below, I say, 25, you was a Bow Wow fan, bro. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. For sure. Like, a lot of niggas talk and shit felt about like, And felt like he was in competition. <laughs> he was about, yeah, yeah. yeah. He, was, he, he was a Bow Wow fan, yeah. bro. Niggas was trying to see walk. Niggas was trying to do all that, bro. So at that time, like, that's the reason why I wanted to rap for. It was really for the host. Yeah. That's yeah, that's valid. And, and shit, Ready for the house, so. is it is Mr. Hit that? You know, is he named after the, the lyric that you said in Do the Boot? Or has that never been clarified? Wow, or, bro, you know what's crazy, bro. You can't hit that hoe. If I can, what's the lyric? I mean, I know it's old as hell. Watch me hit that hoe. Yeah. If you can't hit that hoe. Watch me hit that hoe. I mean, and his name is Mr. Hit that hoe, but he changed it to Mr. Hit that, I guess, to clean it up. I mean, people used to bring that to my attention, man, but I mean, I, I never really looked at it like that. I mean, I looked at it, it was just like the movement. But what I did, look, what, what was crazy though, was when you used to tell me, because I know you used to know Tr uh, Trilly, Prince Rick, yeah. you know, right? Because it was crazy, people used to always get me mixed up with him or Trilly. That was just one of the things I used to hate. You yeah. know what I'm saying? He was cool, dude. You know what I'm saying? And my middle name Lee was crazy. My middle yeah. name's Lee, and then I'm T Real, and you're Trilly. So everybody said it was just crazy. Like yeah. everybody used to think that was me. So that was one thing I used to hate the most. Like people like, oh, you T Real? Then start singing my songs, and then they throw their songs in. Hey, you seen those songs too? So I ain't gonna lie, I probably got a piece of ass or two off of that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, appreciate it. Hey, appreciate yeah. it. Nah, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking yeah. But now, uh, but now I don't, I don't really. It, it could have been though. He, he might have got it from me. I, I don't know where he got it from. Yeah. I just always kind of wanted that because it was like that was a big part of the song. So, shit. Oh yeah, man. I mean, we did a lot, man. We we, we, we was involved a lot with that boogie shit, bro, for sure, man. Like, yeah, yeah. And not even that, I, I just if you even listen to my songs or my old tapes and shit, like all my shit, some of my shit wasn't even all like that. Bro. Oh yeah, most of what singing and shit. Yeah, yeah man. Like we really made do the boot in five minutes, like yeah. literally five minutes. Like I told Ron, I was like, bro. I said, I want this to be the most dumbest song you ever make. And that's why I, I started saying Dirty Booty. That's why I started saying all that crazy shit in there. Yeah. I said, I want a, a chant record. I said, I want this to be a chant. That was exactly the thing we did. We made it in five minutes. Yeah, and yeah. it's actually the biggest. <laughs> yeah, some shit that you just That's how I go, bro. That's how I go, man. Yeah, yeah. And I used to hate performing it. <laughs> and yeah, really like now. At that time, they really do no paperwork probably for it. None of that. Bro. They didn't get none of that back in. Bro, I have nothing to show for none of that shit. Yeah. Because even been that ass over, kind of. Oh, bro. Been that ass over. But that's what I'm saying. Like, we had that streaming. Last... If I was able to upload my I shit. Know. And niggas would have streamed. You're I dropping mean, tapes. Yeah. With it, 20 it, tracks. It would have been the different, bro. It would have been different, bro. Just, like, we was, we was just printing up CDs, bro. Really, that's yeah. where we made our money out of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna lie, we made, we sold me and this nigga right here. Like, we sold a lot of CDs yeah. in the streets, bro. A lot. A lot of, that's why we used to drop tapes, just the CDs. That's what and we where was you, on. Where you, where you get that hustle from, bro? Like you got a different type of like. Ever since I know you, you know what I'm saying. You kind of had like a different like hustle, bro. You like as a you a hustler, you know what I'm saying. I know that's the name. He got hustle, but shit, where did you get that from? Like ever since I know you, bro, you been on some. Some man. new, some get money. I ain't really yeah, took no man. with you on no business. Yeah, nah, real shit. I mean, if you know me, like that's what I'm saying. Like, what do you call me? Like, cause you got me. I stopped doing music. Like, I'm, I'm 29. I'm gonna be 30 this year. Bro. Yeah. I'm gonna be 30, 30 this year. You know, 30, what I'm so the shit we talking about right now happened when I when I was what 17, 18. Yeah. Like, so this is a long time ago. What we talking about? But prior, I mean, it's even back then, bro. I mean, it really just it started from me selling candy, bro. Honestly, yeah. God, bro. Like, honest to God, it was prom. I wanted to go to, not prom, uh, the dance, school dance in ninth grade, bro. And I, my mom didn't have the money at the time, bro. And I just, I remember buying these, uh, them caramel apple suckers, bro. I bought like a 25 cent bag, bro. Yeah. And then um, I sold them bitches for like 50 cents. And I was like, damn, this shit crazy. Yeah. Then I went to my nigga Pookie, you know, Pookie. Yeah, yeah, Shout yeah, out to my yeah, nigga yeah. Pookie, you know, Calvin Crosby. Y'all go check out his book, you yeah, know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. Um, but me and Pookie, man, like, I, I, I shot the ID 
did to him and his mama had the Sims card. Ooh, you so you got the bulk. Yeah, we got the bulk so of that shit. Y'all quadruple. <laughs> I, I mean, I promise you, bro, I was making like a hundred a dollar. I was making a hundred dollars a day on candy, bro. That's crazy. So I think that's where it started from. And then I just yeah. always got my hands on shit. I was just, and when I moved to Sam, like Arlington, I, I, I got known for selling uh, like clothes and shit. I had the drunk, that's when the drunken yeah. monkeys, the red monkeys and shit yeah. was in. I was selling them hoes. Uh, and I also had like the joys and shit I was selling. And then uh, I used to go to Trader's Village selling the DVDs and man. shit. I mean, just, I just always wanted to get money, fool. Like, cause nothing, nothing was handed to me, man. Like, nothing. Like, yeah. I think it got it out the mud on everything. Um, but now prior, uh, I got a call center, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so now, yeah, yeah. so now I'm employing people, you know what I'm saying? Outside of the music shit and stuff, I, do. I got a call center I do. That's big. You know, that's like my, my main, my main source. So anybody need a job or anything like that, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Holler yeah. at me, we get you hired. Don't matter what state you're from, you can work from home. Yeah, uh, yeah. That's what we do, man. So, but yeah, man. Um, big business. Big business, man. So always hustling. And shit, what else we got to look out for, man? What you got working out now? What's current projects besides the call center? What else we got to look forward to, man? Uh, right now, man, we really, I mean, we, we all been talking, you know, I can talk about the shit we always talk about me, you, yeah. right? We all trying to, you know, of course, get the label going, really uh, get a lot of artists involved, man, and, and really start pushing this shit the right way and start providing uh, good management for these people. Like they need they need the platform because I, I was once an artist so i understand yeah. the shit the artists go through exactly you know what i'm saying so uh I, that's just what i love to do i still want to keep one foot in on the you know on the music of course yeah um also you know i just been really pouring i got a son now of course my son he five uh yeah so i've been really pouring into him you know he's gonna get the youtube going i mean like he's he's really next on the yeah. music side you know he's been <laughs> in my secret weapon but people don't know you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, you know, Rainstar Bam Bam. You know what I'm saying? Some name. Yeah. Uh, he, he, he finna be. He's four actually, but he's finna be five. Um, you know, so I'm finna. Y'all gonna see him in a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That's so. What's up? Yeah, investing into your kids. I think that's really the best investment that's you can make. That's bro. Like, man, when you man, really think about that it. YouTube, that YouTube, bro. That's all they wanna do is watch. <laughs> money is on that YouTube. Stop playing. Like, if your yeah. kids got some type of entertainment, excitement, shit. Put I'm telling you, that shit, that's, that YouTube pays some bills, man. Real talk, it's just and, 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 kids and, and, watching the kids. You feel me? To give you time to uh, enjoy quality time with your kids. Like, while you building content, you're spending time with your kids. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, that's kind of what, what it's kind of moving towards, man. Just really finding young talent or whatever, pointing to them. And then uh, just using the, the connections that we got and that we build from them. You know what I'm saying? Cause yeah. Just from the shit that I've done for me being T Real still whole weight. You know exactly. what I'm saying? I was able to build a lot of relationships and shit. Cause niggas know what I'm about. Like I don't play no games. I'm all about this, this money. You know what I'm saying? So, you know. Yeah. For sure, man. I appreciate you for joining me, bro. Shit. Oh, you know, you know, you big bro. You oh, know yeah, what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, hey, yeah. well, real nigga, <laughs> shit. This nigga here. Hey, he seen me grow when I was at 13 Entertainment, man. Man, like, oh, 13. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You even forgot about that before I was even. Oh, my God. Like, when I was the realest, nigga. Bro. Like, before I was T Real, I was the realest. B.O.B. Nah, yeah, bro. I was the biggest fan of yours, too, then. Yeah, I mean, like, that's, that's one thing about you, bro. You always made your shit look big. I always. When I wasn't around you, I thought you was bigger than you were, you know what I mean? <laughs> you made your shit look so big, and yo, especially MySpace and all of that shit. Oh, yeah. So that's what's like, damn. I almost feel like back then, I felt like I was the eyeball of Mossberg because I wasn't on internet nigga like that. Yeah, you know oh, yeah, the internet, yeah. We, we had that shit down to the science, bro. Yeah, like, we had that shit down to the internet. science, bro. Yeah, all y'all niggas was big internet niggas. And yeah, I, for sure. I wasn't. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, yeah, so we go we go way back, man. This nigga know me when I was probably like 15 for sure, for sure. Like, yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah, so yeah, man, I like bro. what you're doing, man. You know, I support everything you got going, bro. Like people need to hear, you know, behind the music. People need to know what was going on. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's a lot of shit that went on back then. Of course, I feel like we did open some doors, but we didn't open it enough. I mean, I like what's going on for the city, man. I like I like to see everybody winning, man, and yeah. coming together. I mean, we looking real good, man. When I be going to the meetings and stuff, the labels and yeah. stuff, they talking about us, man. Exactly. They really talking about us. They looking at us, man. So it's just, like I said, finding the, the next talent. The doors are open. So keep working hard. Keep grinding. Keep God first, man. And understand that everything has an expiration date, man. man Don't think right. that this shit going to last forever. You know what I'm saying? Listen to, listen to your OGs, man. Listen to your big homies, man. When they when they telling you, man, stop acting like you know it all and you think you know it. You know everything you know what i'm saying listen they've been there before you know when we tell you to invest in shit, put some money to the side because we know that you might not be as hot as you is right now next year you might not be hot no more you know what i'm saying so just understand 
to really have something to show for. Don't be like me. I was a nigga gambling, like taking money, shooting dice, betting money on 2K. I ain't tripping. I got a show tomorrow. I'll make it back. I was that young, dumb nigga. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And then when it all expired, I had nothing to show for. Then I was forced to get a job. So yeah. imagine how embarrassing that shit was, right? Damn, T. Real, you had a job? What the fuck? Yeah. And that's exactly why I left corporate America for that reason, because I was embarrassed. Because niggas said, damn, T. Real, you working a fucking nine to five. And that's when I stopped working a job, and then I started my own business. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, man, just just, just stay grinding, man, and stay focused. Listen to your big homie. Yeah, yeah, man. You heard it here first, man. T-T-T-T-R-O! T-R-O! 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 T-R-